Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. Before we get started guys, if you please like my video, that'd be great. Uh, please also subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. And don't forget to ring that bell so that I can keep more videos coming your way. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna do a reaction to the band Triumph and the song is called Lay It On The Line. A little background about Triumph, uh, incredible band. For the most part, a power trio from Canada. Uh, not unlike other power trios that we know from Canada, like Rush, and uh, just a fantastic Fantastic band. Everybody in the band was great. Uh, Rick Emmett is the lead vocalist, lead guitarist, um, and Gil Moore, actually the drummer, is also a fantastic singer as well. So we're gonna hear a power trio. Now sometimes they do add another guitar player in there. I don't know if they did in this video because I haven't seen it yet, but uh, just an amazingly talented group and let's get started. Here we go. Sounds good. about these bands. I think this is from Halifax in 1987, it looks like. Um, and you know, most all, not all, but most all of these bands, they didn't run tracks. There was no auto-tune. They were just great players, great performers. And uh, Triumph is certainly way up there in the in the amazing department. And not only did they all sing great, but they all played great. They worked well together. Imagine producing this much sound as a power trio, just three guys. Now, it looks like they do have another guitar player in this specific show, but um, when I saw them, I actually saw them uh, touring with my cousin, Sammy Hagar, um, and he took them on tour and kind of made them popular, I think, in the US. But but man, I gotta tell you, I don't know. Was it Sammy that was good or was Triumph good or were they both like really good? They're both great in their own right. So it was really cool to see them. And uh, anyway, I wanna continue, but I just had to make that little side note. I know there were some bands that did run tracks in the 80s, um, like Def Leppard, <laughs> you know, and other, but bands like this, man, it was just, just letting you have it. So that was great. Let's continue, here we go. Oh. more up top, the drummer. Back in the 80s, there was a lot of bands, you know, whether it was TNT or whether it was Boston, you know, whether it was, um, there were so many bands like Triumph, uh, you know, Rush we mentioned already, where uh, they had these incredible high vocals and you just don't hear that kind of consummate professionalism anymore. It's you know, great high range singing. And I miss that, man, because, you know, gosh, I've, I've done some vocal demonstrations from that and uh, Millie Matichevic, you know, he's another one that has also got some great high range stuff. But uh, we've just kind of lost out on that over the, you know, the last, I don't know, from the 90s on and through now. And I miss it. Love to have hear more people just kicking butt like that in the high range.
Wouldn't it be cool, like you're in this band, right? And you've got like basically two really strong, high range lead vocalists like that. What, you know, kind of reminds me of Trans Siberian Orchestra, right? You know, um, there are a lot of guys like that when someone gets a cold or whatever, there's so many great guys and they have two bands and I think they're working on a third now, uh, where I mean, anyone could step into your spot and fill your shoes if you get sick or cold or, you know, just whatever, but, or, or harmonize and, and whatever. And so that's what I love about bands like this is just there was so much talent, sticks. I mean, bands like that, so much talent in the band, everyone could fill in for everybody else or embellish and just make the whole overall sound sound better. Kill it. <laughs> So with that said, um, don't forget to stick around because we've got a lot more coming your way. I've got another video that you're going to absolutely love. So uh, be sure to stick around for that. It's coming up now. And uh, until next time, gang, that's awesome. Here we go.